Hey y'all, it's Melanie. Welcome back to my channel. I am in the driveway. Just got back from doing my Kroger grocery pickup and I decided I'll film a grocery haul. Never done one before. So it's a doozy. Um, I've probably just filled in the last two or three weeks. So I do this every month or so. I just do a good stock up on things that I need. Um, had a few pantry items, some chips and stuff like that. I just needed to get stocked back up on for lunches and freezer stuff. So anywho, my total today, looking at my receipts, and I did approve my subs before I went. So I spent a hundred or two hundred and five dollars, but then I went inside for the stuff I forgot to order. I spent about twenty more dollars. So everything here, and it's not all groceries, but you'll see about two hundred and twenty-five dollars. It's probably a couple years ago I stumbled across grocery hauls on YouTube. I had no idea what that was, and I started watching, and I'm hooked. I love them. Um, I always did like to come home from the grocery store and show my husband everything I got and how much I paid for it and you know he couldn't care less but now I get to show you so I hope you enjoy okay the best place that I know to start is to start at the beginning so we'll start right here in one of my potato chip chairs this is all things I do um, work outside of home about three days a week I always pack some sort of lunch my husband packs lunch five days a week and I've got two daughters and one of them pretty much takes her lunch to school every day. So these are all things that are for lunches, but we've got Doritos, regular nacho and Cool Ranch, got Cheetos, some of these Mission Tortilla Chips, some sour cream and cheddar, Lay's, and then these Keebler Chips Deluxe. Now let me move you over here to, or to my other potato chip chair. I've got two bags of these classic uh, family size uh, chips just for dip. I've got some of these honey barbecue Fritos, some chocolate covered granola bars, some of these little cheese and breadstick dippers, a loaf of bread, some nutty bars and fudge rounds. Then also, I got this pair of flip-flops today. My mom was showing me hers that she got at Kroger's and just thought I probably needed a pair of those too. So we'll move over to the table now. Here's just some stock up items for my freezer. Got a big Red Baron pizza for when you just want a quick dinner. Some crinkle cut fries. We've never tried these Kroger brand chicken fries, but we've had their chicken nuggets and chicken strips and the grilled. And I just thought that'd be something good to try. So we got those. Got a bag of tater rounds. And looks like we got, oh, two or three of these Totinos to put in the freezer. Got a big box of these uh, Jimmy Dean sausage egg and cheese croissants. My husband eats those a lot for a quick breakfast. Got two different containers of ice cream. This was on sale this week got those for the freezer got a triple brownie and then this one is so good it's a chocolate a chocolate chip cookie dough and it is yummy needed a few um frozen vegetables got a couple bags of this super sweet corn which microwaved in the bag got a bag of chopped up onions i use those a lot in recipes when i don't want to take the time to chop an onion got some mixed veggies for a chicken pot pie this week. Got a loaf of this garlic bread. This is the best little garlic bread right here. Then I have, produce wise, I've got a big thing of strawberries. And these strawberries were just humongous. There are little, some smaller ones on the bottom, but we'll see how they taste. Sometimes when they're big, they're not as sweet as the regular size. We got a bunch of bananas. Let's see, I've got a head of lettuce and some green onions, got a cucumber, and I just got one zucchini and one squash. I just been wanting to fry some of this up. And out of the four of us that are here, there's only two of us that like this. So I just got one a piece. And um, refrigerator items, I've got some of this vanilla caramel creamer for my daughter, some spreadable cream cheese. And if you have not had this out of the deli, it's boar's head, teriyaki chicken. 
and it is so good. One of my girls carries this like every day in her lunch. She'll make a wrap out of um, this chicken and some cheese and this uh, spreadable whipped cream and then these flour tortillas. That's what she does her wraps in. Got a bag of Monterey Jack shredded cheese and just this little thing of chocolate chip cookie dough to bake. It was on sale. I've got some puff pastry here. I'm gonna do something special with that here in just a little bit. And this will also be used in that little deal. This dark chocolate fudge dessert topping. That's exciting. And I've got some pie crust to go in the freeze, fridge. And also I've had all of, um, Kroger had all of their brand like refrigerator biscuits and breads and stuff on sale for a dollar a piece. So I got two of their crescent rolls and I had not seen this better flavor. When you order, sometimes you don't see these things. You just see what you normally order. And I had to go in because I had forgotten to put these on my order. So I saw the butter flavor and I got two of those. Got some cinnamon rolls with regular icing. And then I got these that have the cream cheese icing. Got a big thing of French onion dip that was requested. Gallon of milk. Got a three pound roll of ground chuck. And some bacon. Got a few packs of gum. And... Uh, 18 count of eggs and I got this Pepperidge Farm strawberry swirl bread this stuff is so good just toast it up but I like to make um, French toast out of that so I've got that to do that with and then the strawberries that's just gonna be so good and might just do that for supper one night too. fry up this bacon and have some eggs and this because um, I'm not the best about getting up and cooking breakfast except on the weekends so, um, let's see. I don't know if I showed you those cookies, but my family loves those. They had these on sale, a great old big bag of them. And non-food, I've got some razors. Got my husband some body wash and some shampoo. These were on sale, so I just grabbed a couple of these suave um, body washes. Got a pack of hot dog buns because we're probably going to have hot dogs one night this week and evidently I got these Dr. Peppers and I don't remember ordering those but I guess the heart wants what the heart wants um I'll check my receipt later they might be somebody else's I don't know maybe I bought them I do that sometimes when I'm ordering groceries online so saltines I don't know if I showed you that some Kleenex, got paper towels and toilet paper, and I did not get big rolls of that because I like to either get that at Sam's, but I have to go to the next town over for Sam's and I'm out, or I like to go to Aldi's, and I didn't want to go to Aldi's today. I just wanted to get one big run and get stuff done, so got those, and these were substitution. I ordered Kroger brand, but they gave me sparkle. And then I've got some gallon size freezer bags, got some paper plates, got just regular sandwich bags for lunches, about to run out of dawn, needed some more of that, got some good old mayonnaise, uh, some vegetable oil, couple of bottles of ranch dressing, that Kroger brand is good. Um, box of mac and cheese got this peanut butter and honey and this is so good I used to just mix up my own peanut butter and honey but Kroger sells this already mixed up in crunchy or creamy and it is good and it's the same price as regular peanut butter too got a couple cans of chicken noodleos got two of those got some water mix for one of my daughters got uh, Kroger brand taco sauce, which we think is wonderful. That's another thing. You got to watch your sizes when you order online. Um, I thought that was the bigger size, but that's fine. Got, oh, four or six cans of green beans. I was really getting low on that. Got some diced tomatoes and tomato sauce. Um, I always buy a pack of taco seasoning. I throw it in my cart every time because I use it on something every week. 
I got these little instant loaded mashed potatoes for a recipe or for a side with the recipe this week. Some all gratin Idahoans and some club crackers. I believe that's everything that's in here and I'll insert a picture of some Mountain Dews and bottled water that I was too lazy to get out of the trunk because we keep that out in the garage in a fridge. So if you like this grocery haul, be sure to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and give me a follow over on Instagram. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.